your word creates your world. Your world is created by your word. I think that that is something that we all don't actually pay attention to and sometimes even think about and even believe. So yes, my name is Brittany Simone and this is Do You See What I See? <laughs> and that is definitely something that I have been really paying attention to. Because there are a lot of things that we say absent-mindedly, not even realizing that that is creating the experience and the reality that we're walking into. Just a simple slip of the tongue or something that is said purposefully, intentionally, even accidentally or mistakenly, it becomes what creates and forms your world. Your world becomes framed by what you say. And it's not always the things you say out loud. It's also the things that you say or rehearse mentally. But the powerful thing is that word comes back to you. So watch what you're saying when you are shaping your world with your word. Because you maybe think that you're saying something to someone that you felt like they needed to hear or, you know, hurt people, hurt people. So they'll say something absent-minded, out of emotions, and then they can't understand or figure out how and why certain situations and things are going a certain way in their life. And it's not always because of people outside of yourself. It's because of what you have said about someone. It's because of something you have spoken because your words boomerang. When you're creating that world, you're framing what's coming to you and you're framing what you see. So if you say, I ain't got it, then that's the world that you create. But then that's the world that you begin to see. You begin to see everything that shows you why you don't. When you begin to say, I am healed, you're creating the world where healing is coming forth. And everything that you see shows you possible healing. It will bring you joy. It will bring you peace. It will bring you increase. It will bring you insight. So a lot of the times those things go back to what you have said about yourself and other people. Because a lot of the times we can say something unmistakably, not even realizing that that's something that we should have said to ourselves and that's something that's going to come back to us. So we have to be mindful. That's why it's a lot of things that I want to say. I really do. <laughs> I want to get it off my chest. However, it's going to come back and hit me in the chest because that word is about to come back to me. What you give is what you get. If you take peace from someone with your words, that peace that you have just taken is getting ready to come back and it's going to be taken from you. Whether you're standing in that guilt or condemnation for what you said or a certain situation to come to you and you won't have peace because you took that peace from someone somewhere. Karma doesn't have an expiration date. Your word creates your world. What you are saying is what is coming to you, what is being framed. And then you do have some people that will say certain things out of selfishness. Be, well, that true intention of saying something out of selfishness or self-preservation is now what you're getting ready to get back. Because even your words, there have to be, there has to be an intention for what you just said. There has to be an intention, a purpose for what you've just said, because it's not something that you just say. That's what we expect kids, because they don't fully understand it. But if you look at kids, they say it all the time. We see them experiencing the beautiful things constantly, because they think about it. So what world are you creating with your words? You can say all you need to say about someone, period, point blank. But guess what? Your world is getting ready to be shaped right into that word that you've just spoken towards that person. What you said about that person. And you can't understand why you're going through certain situations. That's because you've spoken that word. You've put it into the atmosphere in the universe at some point in time. And it is coming back because in that day of judgment, we should all give account. Well, that time of accounting, what you just said will come to you most of the time instantly and then sometimes it will take a while because it needs to make that same impact. 
Your words make an impact. They said sticks and stones may break your bones, but words will never hurt you. But I beg to differ. I think that's just something that they wanted us to believe so that we don't get caught up in words. However, it does make a difference. It makes a difference in your life and everyone else's lives by what you said. And some people speak it out of ignorance and some people speak it out of, I can say whatever I want. True. Well, how is your life right now? Because you obviously don't have what you want. Because if you did, you wouldn't have no ill will to say towards anybody. Because you are satisfied, so satisfied with your life that there is no devil in you. Think about it. The devil is the evil. That's what's in you, the enemy, your inner you. You begin to manifest all of that in your life based off what you just said about yourself and others. So be mindful of those things because you will always find yourself having to look at your life and saying, where did this happen? What did I say? When did I say it? And believe me, because I've done that. Where did I say? When did this happen? And it come to me and I had to repent instantly because, yeah, sure, I was in an emotional state, but I should have said it. You bless those that bless you. You even bless those that curse you. Living by that principle is something that I'm doing now. Why? Because the inner me is saying, forgive them for they know not what they do. They really don't have a clue as to what they're doing to you when they say something out of self-preservation, ignorance, anger. Most of the time it's just selfishness. Arrogance, being conceited, being controlling, manipulative, all those different things. But your world is being created by your word that you say to others or that you say about yourself. So what are you saying about yourself and what are you saying about others and if you don't have anything nice to say just say god bless you <laughs> that's something i've always been told as a kid you don't have anything to say you need nice don't say nothing at all so i find myself just saying god bless you or thank you or simply smiling because i want to make sure that the only language that i speak outside of that is my <laughs> heavenly language unless the situation may call for me to use that language which is not always the case. So your world is created by your word. But you must look at your intentions on what you just said and why you said it. Did you intend to say it for someone to be better? Then say it better. There's always a better way to say it. Or your intention to say it just so you can get what you want and you're hoping to make that person so angry they get away from you. Well, now you just cut yourself off because guess what? That person you just said that to was probably the person that was going to bless you tremendously. But out of your own ignorance or upset or arrogance or whatever it may be, whatever you were feeling at that moment, you may have just blocked that blessing because it may not even have come from them. However, you just blocked it because now you have created this space to where there's a whole barrier around you and no one really wants to be around you. They're there to be nice which I don't like the word nice because that's not in the Bible. They're there just to be cordial, but they're not really there to be with you. They're there to make everything look good, which nine out of 10 is probably what you were hoping, but it's still not fulfilling because you're about to go back to where you were by yourself and seethe and be angry. So I didn't want to come in and preach to you today, but that's something that I have been thinking about because it's just amazing how we have these things going on in our lives and we cannot and don't understand. But it all started from a word. It all started from a word. The heavens and the earth were formed or created by a word. Let there be. So anything you say, anytime you say it, you are saying, let there be. And your word is going to take shape of it. And so, yes, this is Brittany Simone with Do You See What I See? And if you don't, let me show you. Peace.